Hello, and Goranges are on view to the Peel of Bells uh, for our sale on the 28th of uh, February, last sale of the month. And uh, well, yeah, kicking off with lot 1418, a Peel of Bells. Um, quite a few a of them here. Bell. I believe that's the correct term, a Peel of Bells. I may be wrong, um, but anyway, if you fancy your um, chancing your arm at bell ringing, <laughs> then 1418 is the lot for you. Um, they all look to be in rather nice condition, uh, rebushed or whatever the term is for adding those pads to them. Uh, estimate fifteen hundred to two thousand pounds. So there we go. That's uh, always something different here, and uh, that confirms it. Uh, what else do we have in the sale? Well, as ever, we've got it all. Um, lots of Chinese works uh, yet again uh, here, such as lot twelve eighty. This uh, big enameled bronze censer with shishi finial. Um, I, Dan will have catalogued that. He won't have huge hopes for it, otherwise it would be in the fine sale. But as you will have seen, if you follow the results, it may well go on and make more. A lot of these Chinese things do. The Chinese have their own opinion about what they are age-wise and value-wise. Uh, doesn't always agree with us. We don't mind as long as it makes more, though. No one's objecting to that. Mm -hmm. So what else do we have? What else has caught my eye? How about that? Something old school, lot 1304. A lovely big brass-bound mahogany writing slope. Some people call them lap desks. Um, looks to be in rather nice condition. Been repolished. The brass looks good. Uh, opening it up, later but old velvet lining. Would have had a key inside. That's not there anymore. Um, would have had an inkwell. That's gone missing. Got a Bramar lock, which is rather nice. That looks like it's sort of half working. Um, these used to make, you know, back in the old days, like lots of things, a lot of money. It's now in an estimate of today of 150 to 200. There's been some slight repair here and what have you. So I think that's fair enough. Lot 1304. Pictures. This caught my eye. This came from a, a collection in a local house. Lot 1638. Not signed. Nothing really by way of clues upon it other than the style in which it is painted. Sort of looks to be British school mid 20th century perhaps what are these folk doing in woodland uh, the vendor and i couldn't quite decide that this chap's got some sort of pot there's these raised trestles are they washing something answers on a postcard please to goranges estimate is just 50 to 80 pounds but worth a look interesting thing that we've got some russian revolutionary ceramics we've got the book to prove it lot 1334 this uh, cup and saucer uh, marked and dated 1923 underneath. Interesting niche little lot that. Down here, lot 1641. How about Charles II? Um, after Lely from memory, um, painted onto a nice old oak panel, remnant of a label down the bottom. Um, thought to be a later copy, but still of some age. Lot 1641, modest estimate, 150 to 200. Something more stylish, this uh, lamp here. Lot 1293, uh, one of the um, 20th century German designers from memory. It is in the cataloging uh, who made it with this concentric or some, uh, support here. I'll stylish that, 1293. Uh, if you fancy something else musical, you don't want to ring all those bells. How about a musical box? Not a bad example, this nice long case. Marketry inlaid lid, his leg has dropped out. It's a little bit scuffed and worn. So would you be if you're 110 years old. Got the original playlist though, and the retailer's badge. Nice long cylinder. Looks like all the teeth are on the comb, so should be ready to go. Dare we start it up? No, because it won't probably stop and it'll make a racket and what have you. But it, when you do start it up, it'll play eight airs to you. So there we go. But one, two, nine, eight, three to 500 estimate. Or how about a map? Up the top here, John Speed, map of Gloucestershire in what looks to be pretty good condition there. It's under glass, so it's hard to get on camera. Uh, it's reverse glazed, glazed to the back. We can see it's printed in English because it came out of folio, These most of these did. You can see the uh, fold is being reinforced with paper. That's pretty typical. Some are printed in Latin, some French, some, some I don't know, all sorts of languages, but th this one's printed in English to the back. Estimate two to 300. Wiltshire is also in the sale if you, if you want to go to a different county. Then drifting round past all sorts of stuff that's piled up ready for the following week because it's just a continuous sausage factory of goods here. Mm -hmm. How about some ceramics? Nice bit of Moorcroft that. Big lumpy pomegranate pattern Chardonnay with its hammered pewter foot, which is a nice feature. There's the um, William Moorcroft signature underneath, made in English, English pewter labels to it. 
uh, that is lot number 1339, 150 to 200 estimate. Got to be worth all of that. Otherwise, my mother-in-law's been in here today and she's a lady of great taste and she likes the look of this because it's such a stylish thing. Uh, lot 1358, this is Claris Cliff. There it is, says so underneath, for Wilkinson's. Um, not the most amazingly exciting of patterns, but really lovely shapes, particularly these, these great tureens, aren't they? They're fab. Uh, estimate two to 300 on that. Up above it, similarly stylish, Shelley porcelain, little part tea set, pretty well all there, I think, actually. We called it part tea set. It looks like a full tea set to me because the teapot is not usually part of the service. Uh, 15 pieces, um, is it 15? Yes, 15 pieces, Phil, seems to me like a full tea set. Anyway, there we are, estimate 50 to 80, 1342. What else can I share with you? We've got clocks. We've got this sort of French portico type clocks, two of those in the cell. That's 1383. Three. We've got a, a sort of earlier Regency model there. Looks like it needs a hand or two, uh, but still ripe for improvement. Lot 1378. There's bayonets, there's books, there's a skeleton of a small animal over there like a fox or something, I suppose. Um, as ever, it's uh, a complete mixture. We've got silver, we've got jewellery, and we've got furniture in a new warehouse. Just to confuse you, we've added an additional warehouse for viewing, so you won't go to the other one, it won't be there, it'll be somewhere else. So we're gonna go and show you where it is so that you can um, find it when you visit. We'll move on now. So Hurricane Eunice is upon us, but it doesn't stop us filming. You'll drive down from the old furniture warehouse. You'll keep coming down the road past all these lovely travellers' vans and things, and you won't quite see the turn into the car park because the vans are in the way. But sort of restyled how we're doing things and we're having four furniture wear um, showrooms in the idea that you might come and collect your stuff and we won't have to put it into store but a bit of a long shot but we're giving it a go so nice bright lighting uh, this side Paul yes so this side here including this yeah that's it including this tree surround are all going to be in the cell on the 28th and uh, it's about the first I've seen of it so uh, just for a change, we'll make it up as we go along. It's great, it's so much lighter in here. There we go, look, it's light. It is, it's, it's really lighter, good. Whiter walls. Yeah. And uh, it's just slightly different construction from the other warehouse. And I think we get the same number of lots of furniture in here, but it's just a little bit sort of lighter and brighter for your viewing. Yes. And uh, as ever, there's lots of things in here, such as garden benches and beds and Regency dining tables, garden furniture. French walnut settees, Victorian mahogany writing tables or parlor desks, wine racks, lot treble one two, dressers ready for painting up. This is lot 1067, all ready to go. If there's one over there that hasn't been painted yet, but I'm sure will end up being done and should look the better for it, I would imagine. 1157. 1157, thank you. Round here, yeah. round here, what have we found? So these look interesting, got 1069, some, some nice little terracotta tiles, decorative motifs. That's a pair, we've got three others in the lot. A big Indian hardwood bench, you could put that outside oh. and it would last for a number of years because it's that incredibly solid hardwood, lot 1071. Further sort of architectural brackets and decorations there. Piano stools, dirty great cupboards that once belonged to TC. Edwardian aneroid barometers. And uh, of course, what is that? Unusual oh. resin wall lights, lot 1053. As ever, uh, you sooner or later, everything comes into this warehouse and gets offered for sale. So, do come along and have a look. Uh, this will be, there'll be a sort of four week rotation of the furniture. So you have two weeks out of four, you'll be coming down here and doing the furniture, assuming the building is still standing. Um, and then we're getting building up towards our sale on the 8th, our, our buying sale, all sorts of goodies in for that. 
Uh, so the sale on the 7th will be a nice double view with, and that's got some great things that we'll show you next time. But anyway, have a good look at this sale. Any queries, drop us an email, condition reports, etc. And we look forward to seeing you at the auction. Thank you.